Alex was walking down the street. It was a sunny day, and everything felt nice. As Alex walked, they noticed a small dog sitting alone by the sidewalk. The dog looked sad and hungry. Alex approached the dog slowly. Hey there, little buddy, they said softly. The dog wagged its tail and looked up with big, brown eyes. Alex could see that the dog needed help. Without thinking twice, Alex decided to take the dog home. They gently picked it up and carried it in their arms. The dog felt warm and safe. On the way home, Alex stopped to buy some dog food and a collar. When they arrived home, Alex gave the dog some food and water. The dog ate happily and seemed to feel better. Alex named the dog Max. They played together in the yard, and Max chased after a ball, barking joyfully. That night, Alex made a cozy bed for Max. They had found a new friend, and Max had found a loving home. From that day on, they were best friends. One sunny morning, Emma wanted to go to the beach. She packed her bag with a towel, sunscreen, and a book. Excited, she left her house and walked to the bus stop. At the bus stop, Emma saw a man waiting. She decided to ask him for help. Excuse me, she said politely. Can you tell me how to get to the beach? The man smiled and replied, Sure. You need to take the bus number five. It will take you straight to the beach. Thank you, Emma said with a big smile. How long does it take? It takes about 20 minutes, the man answered. Just get off when you see the ocean. Emma thanked him again and waited for the bus. When the bus arrived, she got on and found a seat by the window. She watched the streets go by, feeling excited about the beach. After a short ride, the bus stopped and Emma saw the ocean. She got off and ran towards the sound of the waves. The beach was beautiful, and she couldn't wait to enjoy her day in the sun. One day, Jane looked out at her backyard. It was a bit messy and needed some love. She wanted to make it a nice place to relax and have fun. So, she decided to renovate her yard. First, Jane made a plan. She wrote down what she wanted. A small garden, a cozy sitting area, and some flowers. She felt excited about the changes. Jane went to a local store to buy supplies. She got seeds for flowers, some chairs, and a table. When she returned home, she put on her gardening gloves and started working. It was hard work, but Jane enjoyed it. After that, she planted colorful flowers. She watered them carefully and smiled, imagining how beautiful they would look. Next, Jane set up the sitting area. She placed the chairs around the table and added some cushions for comfort. Finally, she lit some fairy lights to make it cozy in the evening. When she finished, Jane stepped back to admire her work. The yard looked amazing. 
She couldn't wait to invite her friends over for a barbecue and enjoy her new outdoor space. One rainy Saturday, Monica woke up feeling lazy. She looked around his messy room and sighed. Clothes were on the floor and dishes were piled up on the table. Monica knew she should clean, but she just didn't want to. She sat on her bed and thought, maybe I can do it later. She picked up his phone and started scrolling through social media instead. Time passed and the mess didn't go away. After a while, Monica's friend Mia called. Hey, do you want to hang out? She asked. Monica hesitated. Um, my house is a bit messy, she replied. Mia laughed. It's okay. We can clean it together. It will be fun. Monica smiled. That sounded much better. She quickly agreed, and Mia arrived with some snacks. They started cleaning together, laughing and talking as they worked. They picked up clothes, washed the dishes, and even vacuumed the floor. Before they knew it, the house looked great. Once they finished, Monica felt proud. Thanks, Mia. I couldn't have done it without you, she said. Mia smiled back. Anytime. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Please like and subscribe to the channel.